Hey y'all, what's up? It's your lady Steph. Um, I just woke up from sleeping all day. Um, I had to work earlier and I'm just like, I'm up now. <laughs> so um, in the next clip of this video, you will see um, my glucose numbers from, well, my blood sugar numbers from September 11th all the way up until now, okay? All the way up until now. So you will see the numbers, okay? And um you know, it's going to be a, a little minute, so don't try to click away from the video. Um, and I know it may sound boring, you know what I'm saying, just showing you my numbers. But after I show you all my numbers, um, I will have a message for, you know what I'm saying, you all. Um, so you can listen to the message, listen to what I got to say about, you know what I'm saying, diabetes and all that. And what I'm going to do is, um, you know, share a little ad after this video is over with. So let's go. All right, y'all. So these are my numbers since September 11th. You know, I started at um, that day because I had just got my, my new glucose meter um, that I'm about to show you all in the next clip. So as you can see, my blood sugar started at 262 at 720 p.m. And that's Saturday, September 11th, 2021. And at 940, is a, it was 198. So it, it, it went from 262 to... Uh, 198 within like let's see two almost two and a half hours or something like that so i'm going to scroll up and then you're going to see um the other numbers as you can see it says september sunday september 12th and then there was 159 in the morning a little hot a little high uh, 175 in the afternoon and then, okay so i'm scrolling too fast actually um this is actually like a pre-recorded um uh, video, but I'm doing a voiceover. So you can see my numbers around September 16th, you know what I'm saying? Friday, September 17th. And you see that they're in the green. So I guess they're pretty good or whatever. And, um, you know, those are my numbers. Okay. Um, I've been keeping track trying to, you know what I'm saying? Um, take care of myself better, uh, with my diabetes situation. And my starting A1C once again is 9.3. <laughs> So I'm assuming it probably went down um, within the past two weeks now. Um, yeah, so I know my blood sugar probably have gotten better because I've been practicing intuitive eating and better eating habits. Okay. So this was the glucose meter that I originally had. And it's real, it's trash. You know what I'm saying? I had got this glucose meter three times, had to get replacements and all of them were trash. You know, you can't really sing it to any type of apps or whatever. So this is the one that I got and it's bullshit. So let me show you the one I have now. So hold on one second. Okay, so this is the one I have now. It's called the AccuCheck Guide. And as you can see, the screen is different. It's a, it's a Bluetooth compatible. Um, it's covered with Medicare Part B. Um, so this is the one that I have. And then I also have the, um, the Lancets right here. You get 100. And this is the pen that I use. Sorry, my nails may be dirty, but it is what it is. So this this is the pen that I use. Um, and then this is the actual meter itself right there. So if you turn it on, let's see. It calls main menu. As you can see, it's 2.06 a.m. Sunday morning. So this is the actual meter itself. And then these are the strips that I use. You get 50 strips. Let's see if I can show you all what it looks like. Well, forget it because my camera's going to fall. But just so you know, these are the strips. You get 50 strips uh, per container or whatever. I do get a 90-day 90, a 90 supply through my insurance. So I want to leave. I want to share this message because a lot of people in the United States of America, I'm not talking about around the world and I'm also talking about the black community, okay? There's a lot of people out there that don't know uh, what their A1C is. Um, they don't know if they have diabetes or not. They may have the symptoms, but don't even know that they're pre-diabetic or actually, you know, diabetic, blown, you know, fully diabetic. So here's the thing. Um, for those who don't know if they have diabetes, go get checked. Tell them you want to get your hemoglobin A1C checked, okay? Because your numbers could be high, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
what everybody can anybody can get diabetes okay based off of the unhealthy foods that we consume sometimes most times if you eat a lot of fast food okay you could get you know what i'm saying diabetes if you eat a lot of cakes you know cookies crackers um things with mostly high carbs and um you know a lot of sugar okay and if you don't work out like that and you're obese okay obese meaning your your bmi is like over 40 your body mass index is like over 40 or something like that you know that's considered you know morbidly obese all right so if you weigh like maybe i'm not even going to go into that part because everybody weight is different everybody height is different but your your bmi is based off of your height and your weight okay and like i said that's your body mass index now here's the thing like i was saying um yeah, like, so a lot of people, they go, they go to the doctor and they just get a regular checkup. They don't really get, like, their A1C check and they don't know, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, you know, get your A1C check. Tell your doctor you want to, you know, check to see if you have diabetes and they will check your A1C. Um, a lot of times before you go to the doctor, you do have to fast the previous night um, before you get, you know what I'm saying, your A1C check. Because if you eat before your test, it won't be accurate. And it tests, and the test... And the test goes over like three months. So the past three months, the foods that you've been eating or whatever, it will basically show up. It will show your result uh, within the three month period, which is 90 days. And um, it was something else I was going to say, but I forgot. I think I forgot. Um, yeah. But anyway, here's the message. So, you know, there's millions of people in America and within the black community, a lot of us have diabetes, don't even know. And then once they land up, once they end up in the hospital, they'll find out, you know what I'm saying? They'll find out before it's even too late or close to too late or even if it's not too late. Okay. So when I had that, when I found out I had diabetes, I was pre-diabetic for quite a few years and um, I didn't care. You know what I'm saying? I did not care about pre-diabetes i just always told myself oh i won't get it you know what i'm saying i'll just keep eating how i'm eating and i was eating low carb and i was eating high carb foods eating out every single day you know going to fast food restaurants and just not caring about my health and the sad thing i could have reversed my diabetes because i went to a class and i learned about pre-diabetes okay I learned about it and I just thought to myself, I won't get it. You know what I'm saying? I'll continue to work out how I was working out. You know, I will work out sporadically every once in a while and shit like that. And so I ended up getting diabetes like two years later. Yeah. Two years later, I got diabetes and it's been a headache. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just checking your blood sugar every day, you know, trying to eat right every day. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to exercise, you know, get movement in your life. You don't even have to exercise if you, you don't even have to exercise to get movement like that. You can just, you know, move around your house, <gasps> excuse me, move around your house, take all these steps and you know what I'm saying? That type of shit. <gasps> excuse me, y'all. That type of shit. You know, you could take steps and you know what i'm saying all that to get some movement the goal is to get movement with diabetes and eat better okay so here's the thing like i said i'm just sharing diabetic awareness out there for people um who don't know about diabetes that anybody can get this horrible it's a horrible disease for type 2 it's very manageable you can reverse diabetes so the thing is, is that once you're diabetic, in my opinion, you will always be diabetic. Even if you reverse your diabetes to the point where you don't have to take medicine anymore, just know that you still can, you can still get diabetes again. Your A1C can elevate, okay? Because when I first got diabetes, my A1C was 6.5, then it went down to 5.9, and then I gained like 60 pounds, you know, when the pandemic started, and then my A1C went back up. So it's like a, it, it's, it's a, uh, what's the word it fluctuates you know what i'm saying it goes down it goes up it goes down it goes up so you have to just be careful and be mindful of what you eat 